White Jaggy? What's up, homies? I am what I like to call milking the cow here. I have squeezed and dried up like the Sahara Desert every piece of content in 2024 that I possibly can. I've milked that shit more than we milk a cow just to get every drop of milk on our Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola? Cocoa Pops, that's what I meant. Me, I'm a weed -a bix type of man. weed a bix saved my life, bro. I have about, oh, I scram that shit so good. Five, six, mmm. You blueberries, a bit of honey. Oh my golly gravy goodness. That shit is like... Mind orgasmic. Heaven on earth, not nothing comes close to this. I've been exploring Reddit, which I know makes me probably sound a bit dodgy, but only the good side, I promise. Only the good stuff have I been indulging in and visiting. Look, I found some dodgy things, I have to admit. I've never been a huge Redditor. I've, or I have an account, I've used it, you know, sparingly. If I really have to go on it, I go, oh God. Click it, put my VPN on, make sure no one's watching me and thinking I'm doing something naughty. But I found this one and I, I wanted to have a bit of a gander, a bit of an exploration, you know. Indiana Jones has put on his hat and gathered his whip. We are going on a mission. Unfortunately, there's no sexy ladies waiting for us there and no short round to keep us entertained. So I will have to do it instead. The Reddit we will be exploring. Europeans, what's the most stupid thing an American has said to you? And Americans, what's the most stupid thing a European has said to you? Now, I'm not sure if I class as a European anymore. Obviously, the UK brexited Europe so we've actually drifted out and we've sort of like moved you know away from them in terms of like glided on the ocean it's crazy how voting does it but we did it all the old people wanted to leave so we've left grumpy old swat all right now what are my opinions on Europeans I don't give a fuck about them Americans though ah oh, I love the Americans especially people from Texas you know proper cowboys I love myself a Texas man oh my god my old job I used to speak to a lot of Americans and they were so polite and so nice but I'm, I'm going to explore this you know there's some Europeans I like uh, who can I think of? I really like, um, you know, that, that 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 country there, them ones. And uh, I, I don't like the rest of them. So let's see what they say. <laughs> let's find out on today's Wedded Wednesdays. If you like that name, give it a like because I think it's really, really inspirational. Yes, it's a Thursday, I know, but Wedded Thursdays just don't sound the same, do they? You know, if you like it, drop a like and we'll make it a uh, regular thing. And also send me Reddits. Make my job so much easier. Make it lazy. You know, that's what all good tubers like to do. Just get your fans, get your, you know, because I've got loads of them. Get your audience to send you Wedded Wednesday content. And it means you have to do anything. I had a US colleague non-ironically explain to me what a Mars bar was made of. After asking him why he said that, turns out he thought that in Italy we only buy fresh groceries from street markets and that we had no concept of supermarkets or food wrapped in plastic. Holy hell. That is small brain syndrome. Imagine that you speak to someone and say, wait, actually, oh, sorry. <clears throat> oh my God. You actually have supermarkets? It's like, oh, yes. Uh, Mamma mia, yes, so we have the supermarket. Nah, I'm gonna get cancelled for this. Holy hell, but yes, all people have supermarkets. They don't just go on the street and find the lady selling tomatoes. It's a thing. An old American lady was very disappointed that the midnight sun in northern part of Norway was the same sun as everywhere else on <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Imagine that. You'll speak to someone and go, So is that the same sun where I'm from? Because I'm on like opposite, you know, you go to Australia, it's like, Wow, this sun's hot. Must be different to the one up north. Yeah, we don't get sun like this around there. It's got to be a different one. You know, it's like Star Wars. They've got two suns around here. Why was the flight to Spain over nine hours? Isn't Spain below the US? Oh dear, that's small brain. That's very American. That reminds me of like, you know, when Mean Girls, like them blonde girls, like, Oh my God, yeah, like Spain is like down south, right? Like, yeah, we could catch a plane in like five hours. Yeah, yeah. The univer the, this was a university student, so they made it through the system. This was one, like someone on the tools and the sticks, you know, building houses, which is nothing wrong with, by the way. I've done a lot in my life, but usually people who do that aren't the ones who are as academically uh, profound as the non-builders, shall we say? Or you know what I mean? I'm having a dig. I, I do lay. I've done labour and I do all that sort of stuff. Like I, I'm part of that group as well, so I can say it. But imagine making it through high school, through college, through university, and becoming a student, and then thinking Spain is below you. Uh oh, retard alert. Retard alert class! Oh my god, I'm right next to France! God, you can just picture it. The UK, that's France, England and Spain, right? What? Yes, the United Kingdom, well known for the France, England and Spain all connected to us. What a goddamn. This was a comment from a global marketing director. How do people make it through life doing this? Like, what the hell? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not the brightest bean in the bag, but these comments right here are making me seem like Albert Einstein. My brain is like, wow, maybe you actually have something going here. Maybe you do have a big brain. Of course, we all know the great love that bounds these three countries. Yeah, see, there's a bit of beef, you see. Recently, this made me snort my tea. It made me spat my pig. <laughs>
They respond to my the baguette that came out of the mouth, the whole Snorting is culturally Colombian, I believe. We were talking about the United Kingdoms as racist. They love eating, they, the love of hating the Germans. I don't hate the Germans, but the French, right? I don't think they like the English, I have to admit. I don't know why. And the Spanish, they love the English, but not when they go over to them because all the English go to Spain on holiday and just get pissed up and ruin their towns and cities and, you know, well, just ruin everywhere they live and then, you know, throw up on the floor, piss in places you're not going to do, break people's faces and they get broken in. Like, the English love a drink, let's put it like that. How do you, how do you fucking do? Right. Close. The Netherlands, never heard of it. You know, I'm Sam. Oh, yeah, great city. I've been there. Yes. And the country around it is called the Netherlands. Yeah, that's just stupid idiots. And who are the Dutch? <laughs> Who are the Dutch? And where is the Dutch? Yeah, to be fair, I have to admit, I knew when I was younger, this was like, you know, seven, eight, I do remember knowing Amsterdam was like a drug place. I never knew until I was a little bit older where actually Amsterdam was, and I'm fairly certain I thought it was a country. So apologies, but I do actually fall into that bank. I was once asked why we don't repurpose concentration camps into houses and wedding venues. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, why, why don't we turn these gas chambers, you know, these really poisonous areas with loads of dead people and dead bodies of Jewish people into houses i'm sure the people be like look i've got this absolute bargain you're gonna fucking love it it's amazing it's got you know great furniture it's got a great little shower and toilet room jesus, jesus. christ uh yeah thousands of people died in it but that's okay because we'll give you it for free yeah free and you still be like no nah, i don't want it dude i don't want it outside windsor castle this castle is really lovely but why did the queen build it so close to the airport Arr, i wonder yeah because the queen is really you know in, on the tools and the bricks and that she loves building stuff she's well known for a building you speak good english thank you everyone always speaks good english it's just like canada then i thought canadians speak like french and english don't they you you speak great english i'm english <laughs> i've had that a few times to be fair when i've been traveling it's like oh where are you from can't quite place your accent it's like bruh i'm fucking english Glaze, mate. Can you not sound like it, don't I? <laughs> when my British husband was getting his American citizenship, he had read, he had to read five sentences in English as part of the process. The administrator was so embarrassed, the only one read it said he could skip the rest. <laughs> Imagine that. Please read these. I like to ride my bicycle in the sun. Full stop. My grandma is really, really nice. Full stop. All right, mate, you, you'll do. You'll pass. Go on, then. We'll let you into our American country. It's like, bro, I love the Americans. That's a lie. Dirty lie. But you're speaking our language here, boys, all right? You are speaking our language. It's not called American. It's called fucking English. English. Inglese. Anglais. All meaning English. Not directly to me, but within earshot to a Japanese tour guide in Hiroshima. No, God. There aren't many old buildings here, are there? Hmm. That was definitely said to by an American. 100%. Oh, it even says I'm European. Sorry, I actually am just stupid. I should just continue to read it. When I was living in the US, people kept asking me if we had access to the same things where I was from. Basic things. It became a running joke among international. But the funniest thing, a friend of mine, also from Austria, was once asked, do you have fridges in Austria? No, we store our food in glaciers. You know, we make use of... <laughs> God, there are some donkeys in the universe. Absolute morons. Like, come on. Of course they have refrigerators. Everyone has a refrigerator. Who doesn't? Hello, have you been here before? Yes, several times. This is all very European. Do they have an American section? Uh, no, sir. This is Ikea. It's Swedish. It's supposed to be European. What about an Australian section? It's like the USA. No, it isn't, sir. This is Ikea. It hasn't changed because of the... <laughs> It's Ikea as well, by the way. I've seen the adverts. This happened a couple of years I was living in the US. Lady, where are you from? Italy. Oh, so you speak Spanish? Uh, no, Italian. But it's Italian Spanish. Fucking hell, what donkey is that? Oh, God. I'm bloody burnt. Right, guys, look, that has been Europeans. What's the most stupid thing in America has said to you? And Americans, what's the European has said to you? That was a great laugh and a great go. I actually really enjoyed that, though. Reddit is a great little hidey hole if you find the right stuff. Obviously, there's a lot of dodgy stuff on here, so take care, kids and lads and ladies. Do not go here searching for anything that you would not show your mother. Let's put it like that. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this, please just drop in the comments because it's a new little series. I'm giving some a go, trying new things. Uh, if you've got something else you want me to have a look at, bloody send it across. Mate, make my life easier means I don't have to do any work. All jokes aside, though, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless me. Take care, boys and girls.